Hey, Craig here. In this video, we're going to be making a test die for forming sheet metal. Okay, so what I'm looking at making is something that will make a, a stamp or an impression in uh, sheet metal. I'm actually using a 16 gauge. Um, I know it's pretty easy to do in thinner metals, but I'm not sure how hard it's going to be in, to do in 16 gauge. But before I start making a complicated um, one out of steel, I'm actually going to make a test version of it, a simple test version of it out of aluminum. Okay, so first I'm going to make the pocket, uh, the bottom section of the die. Um, this is uh, 3 inch by 3 inch aluminum, 1 inch thick. Since this is just a test die, I'm not going to be doing anything fancy with this. Uh, I'm just going to be roughing it out and then doing uh, a chamfer on it. I'm not going to worry about a finish pass. Okay, now for a quick chamfer. I want to put uh, a fairly good amount of chamfer, uh, like well, not too much, maybe twenty thousandths of an inch, because uh, I think the roll would be a little nicer when uh, when using the press die. Okay, now I'm going to do the top portion of the die. Uh, there's obviously something wrong with my dimensions here, my offsets. Um, because I have an engagement back here, but not on the front, so I have to go double check that. Okay, well I've done what I should have done to begin with. I set my zeros on the top middle instead of this uh, corner over here. You don't exactly know what size the stock is exactly, you know, you may be off a little bit. Um, I was actually off more than I should have just by the uh, uh, the difference in the size of the stock, but um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and run it now.
All right, I got both the top and the bottom of the die all made up there. All I need to do is get set up on the uh, on the press. First, I'm going to cut a piece of sheet metal here to size, uh, three inches by three inches. Okay, I've got it all put together here. I've kind of lined it up, kind of eyeballed it as, as best as I could here. So I've got uh, the lower die, 16 gauge cold rolled steel, the upper die, and uh, just kind of some furring stuff because of the, uh, the throw on this. So uh, also I don't want these pins to hit the top. Uh, I really don't want to take these out right now, so. All right, this is air hydraulic, so there's going to be a bit of a noise as I'm uh, running this. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see if this works. Let's see what happens. Okay, well I didn't want to take it apart yet because I want to open it up on camera, so I see what it, we all see what it looks like together. Uh, it actually went down really easy. It was really easy to press. And this is aluminum pushing uh, uh, steel. So, all right, well, see what see what it looks like. Oh, wow. That's cool. Whoa. That was so easy. I cannot believe it. Wow. Okay, well, I will take that uh, test as a success. All right. Okay, well, that was definitely a big success. Uh, I guess the next thing to do is to be to uh, to make an actual die for the actual products I'm going to be uh, making. So, all right, cool. Well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. If you have any comments or ideas or anything, I'm going to be making more videos like this of the actual die. If anybody has experience with uh, making these kind of things, they have uh, some kind of uh, ideas, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, if you like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button over there, and some other videos. I'll link below the, the video for the, uh, the, the press for bending the, uh, the bracket uh, down below here, and uh, thanks for watching.